Hello guys, I'm from New Zealand. So the amount of iPhone 7 we are getting with the sound IC problem, um, I thought maybe I should make a quick video. So um, these phones are coming from um, other repair shops. Uh, they replace uh, the air speaker and the mic, but still there is no sound. The problem is with the sound IC. I think this is the sort of problem where we have seen iPhone 6 plus is the touch IC disease. So this is um, the same sort of problem, I think. So I will show you quickly how to safely remove and then solder back the sound IC on iPhone 7. So have a look here. So um, the sound IC is just next to the flash IC. I'm so sorry about this camera there. It always vibrates, so I think from my next video I will do something about it so that it won't vibrate anyway. So the sound IC is just located to the NAND flash IC. NAND flash IC is um, underfill. So any excessive heat on the, sound, um, on the flash IC, then the, the solar bulb can bust out and then, you know, the phone will go restarting or it might get shorted, so be very careful. So uh, it's better you put some, you know, three and four layers of um, Kepron tape. So what we will do, we will just, um, as usual, we will put some flux on it. And we we'll start the heat gun. So it's better you stay away, a little bit stay away from main flash IC. So we know we don't have to pull it hard up, just be very gentle and you have to only pull it up when it's ready to come up. So nice and gentle. So I can see flux is activating now and and then you can also keep an eye on the on these capacitors. See, their ends are starting getting shiny. So that means the flux is activating, and there you go, nice and easy. So as I told you before, in my previous videos, I don't uh, clean this with um, solder bread. I don't like it because it can just pull any pad up so easily so I'm not gonna do that so I don't use solder bread if you want to yes you can so I just use flux Okay, so let's look at it here. There you can see, let's make it like, oh, not this one, but this one. Can I make it little bit bigger anyway? So, so you have to use very fine tip um, soldering iron. And we have to remove these excessive solder bars so that they are all aligned and then ready to adopt new IC. I mean, if you want to use a solder bread that's all up to you but I don't use it so 
so as you know guys we are based in New Zealand in Hamilton the name of the city is Hamilton and our shop is in Hamilton city center so if you are a repair shop and you can't do these sort of repairs or or if you are someone who wants to learn we offer logic board repair courses which are not very expensive so so now i will give it a clean so guys that looks pretty clean to me now and um, now we will put some flux what this came off so let's put some flux and put the new IC back on. So let's take it out. So we have to align it first to make sure it's all setting properly that is exactly the same area is there and it has to be same from both sides. Let's put it aside and so First of all, hold it steady here. I think I will move it around here. Yep. Keep holding it, keep holding, and then I think this is the time to let it go. And move your user, and then I will get another user, which is just one in, and then start hitting it up again. And then hopefully soon I will see it settle down. Yep, it looks like it's settled down. I give it a little bit of nudge and leave it there. That's it. So, guys, that was a quick video. iPhone 7 uh, sound IC. If you have replaced um, the air speaker and the mic, but still there is no sound, then this is the problem which you have to fix, which is sound IC replacement. Um, so it's pretty easy to do if you know how to do it otherwise you know you will if you are if you if you don't have any experience doing this sort of repairs don't do it you will destroy the phone so thanks for watching and um, anything you would like to ask you can write in the comment and um, we are in new zealand um, hamilton and um, if you wish to learn these sort of repairs you can go to our website which is applefix.co.nz and you will find a tab there uh, logic board repair courses just click that and you will find all the information there thanks for watching bye